super de duper de duper wild card weekend video. Before this video get too old, man, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. It's premium content right here, man. Show me some love, man. I'm gonna break down every game real quick, give you predictions and winners, right? We'll start with the Browns and the Texans. We ain't gonna take too long. Joe Flacco went into a time machine and went back to 2009. That's the way that that guy playing right now. Mari Cooper, Ford, and Joku. That offense was already ready made with Chubb. Chubb has been hurt basically all year. And that whole defense, that Browns defense, the, the, the Browns are basically ready to make a run. They just needed a quarterback. So that's where Deshaun Watson came in. And then on the other hand, the other side, you got the Texans. C.J. Stroud is a young guy, man. D'Amico Ryan should be coach of the year for his job. Um, turning around the Texans so quick. He should get it. Rookie quarterback in the playoffs, man. Whoo! Don't look good for the Texans. Plus, the didn't the Browns go down to Houston a couple weeks ago and smash them? I mean, they didn't have C.J. Stroud, but it was, I mean, pff, this is literally the same matchup. But this is the playoffs. This is a different beast, and I'm pretty sure they're going to adjust at least a little bit. I mean, they got blown out. I think that Joe Flacco and them boys is just going to be too much. I'm going to take the Browns on the road against the Texans. Texans are too young. D'Amico Ryans has had a great year. I think the Browns are just – the Browns are ready to make a Super Bowl run. I'm, I'm just going to be real with y'all. Let's go to the Tyreek Hill Bowl. I mean, the Taylor Swift uh, showcase. I mean, <laughs> the primetime game on Saturday the 13th. You got the Dolphins who just lost. I called that loss. To the Bills, by the way. Y'all should give me some love for just for that. And the Dolphins and the Chiefs here. Can we be real, man? Like, Pat Mahomes and the Chiefs will look like trash. They're the, they're the defending champions. I know the Chiefs fans are not going to like that. Y'all ain't got to like that, man. Y'all better go go. Y'all better go talk to Brittany Mahomes if you don't like it, man. Go, go talk to her. But anyway, listen. I'm, I'm interested in the status of Raheem Mostert. If Raheem Mostert win, comes back, man, with A-Chan... Tyree Hill. I know that the Bills have some significant injuries on their defense. Not the Bills, but the Dolphins. I get them mixed up. I'm jumping ahead a little bit. I think that Miami can go into Kansas City and win. Yes, I just picked two road teams on Wild Card Weekend. I ain't done. I'm not done yet. Let's go to Sunday, man. Steelers, Bills. Let's be real, man. The Steelers' um, quarterback position is just so unstable, man. Mason Rudolph has come off, come from out of nowhere, just giving a little bit of stability. Pickett is available, but he's just not the guy right now. Um, Harris just had a really great game. He's coming off a really great game. And I do like Johnson and Pickens, man. Fair move. I like these guys, man. Like They've got, they've got weapons on offense, Pittsburgh, yes. But we talking about Bills Mafia, man. We talking about potentially snow, freezing temperatures, man. Them people going to be loud. Um, Josh Allen, I, I expect for him to carry the ball about 15 times in this game. I don't expect this game to be too close, but if it is, the Steelers can win. But will they win? Nope. I'm going with the Bills. Packers and the boys. 4.30 on Sunday. The Packers are, like, very, very young. Very, very unknown. We came into this season. I did a video on Thanksgiving about Jordan Love and the Packers' performance. Yes, I did. The guy's playing beyond his years. He really is. But this is the boys, right? This is the boys, right? Y'all boys. I'm a, I'm a Commanders fan, so I definitely hate y'all, for real. I'm not going to even fake. I, I definitely hate y'all. I hate the Cowboys. I like the Cowgirls, though, but... The, cow, the Cowboys, I don't like y'all. But I can admit that C.D. Lamb is like damn near borderline Jerry Rice right now. He's Jerry Rice. And Dak Prescott just has to not lose the game. I mean, the Packers can beat y'all. The Packers are really similar to the Seahawks, who y'all y'all went back and forth to them with them a couple weeks back. The, the Cowboys should be very, very careful here. I'm going to take y'all to win, you know. I played 2K with uh, Michael Parsons, so I'm, I'm, of course I'm going to show him some love in this video, right? I think that the Cowboys will win this game, but the Packers, if the Packers go in there and they win, y'all going to see me come back 
because the Packers have gone down there a few years ago and won, so there's history there. I'm telling you, it can happen, but I'm going to take the boys. Then you have the Trading Places Bowl. Matthew Stafford goes back to back to Detroit, and Jared Goff goes against the team that drafted him. What what did what did, what did dra- uh, uh, Jared Goff go number one? Didn't he go number one? But anyway, man, this this game is just so intriguing. Puka Nakua set like rookie records, man. I mean, amazing. Kerwin Williams is like a touchdown machine. Matt Stafford is still Matt Stafford. Okay, Cooper Cup catches everything all the time. Like he just never, he just never nice catches anything. And then you got the Lions. Like the Lions defense has just been great with Hutchinson. At times it looked kind of meh, but majority of the season they look really solid. And then that Lions offense, man, with St. Brown, Gibson, another touchdown machine, and Montgomery. This game should probably be the highest scoring game of the week. For real, a wild card weekend. Um, probably the most entertaining. It's definitely the most intriguing. I mean, the close second would probably be the Dolphins and Chiefs. I mean, all of these games are great, but I'm going like I'm I'm torn here. I said earlier that the Lions were a Super Bowl threat, so I'm going to stay to that, and I'm gonna say that the Lions are going to win. So on Saturday, I picked the two uh, road teams to win. On Sunday, I picked all the home teams. So let's talk about Monday night, the Eagles, the Bucks. The Eagles are just another team, like, they're just kind of stumbling and fumbling, and they, they they just look like trash going into the playoffs. I mean, let's be real. They had a chance to be the second seed, um, but, you know, Cowboys took care of business in Washington. We all saw it. And then the Buccaneers are just like, I mean, they struggled to beat Carolina. I mean, whew. I mean, Carolina's got a good defense, but they struggle, and – they got a home game on prime time, and this is a, actually a re. I can't say it's a rematch because the Buccaneers played the Cowboys last year on Monday night. This year they get the Eagles, and this is actually a rematch of a Monday night game earlier in the season, where like the Eagles got the ball with ten minutes left, and they just didn't give it back to the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers couldn't stop them. Baker Mayfield is like the key to this game, man. I mean. What are you gonna get from out of Baker Mayfield? He's been he's looked terrible. He's looked great at times. He's looked hurt at times. He probably still he's probably hurt while I'm recording this video. He's probably in the ice bath right now. And then I don't know what's going on with AJ Brown. Um, the status of him during the course of this video, I don't know. But the Eagles have been stumbling and fumbling and bumbling and all this other stuff. But and it's like a pretty brown round butt. Like we're gonna call it like that. It's a beautiful butt that everybody wants to see. The Eagles are a Super Bowl threat. They've been here before. They know how to win in this time of the year. And the Buccaneers have just been so inconsistent. The NFC South is just another bad division. They're, they're like the best of the worst. I expect for the Eagles to get it together and win on Monday night on Martin Luther King Day, MLK Day. Let me know what you guys think down below of my predictions, my breakdowns, all that good stuff. I gave y'all a good eight minutes. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, man, get involved in the conversation. If I if I went in on your team, tell me how wrong I am. All right? Go, go ahead. Tell me how wrong I am. I made a prediction about Taylor Swift showing up with a a, a glitter um, 87 uh, sweater vest. She's going to show up on one of those things. But let me go. <laughs> let me go back over my picks. Browns, Dolphins, Bills, Cowboys, Lions, and the Eagles. I love you guys. Make sure that you guys like, like, comment, and subscribe again. I'm gonna keep saying it, man. I'm gonna keep saying it until y'all get me to about 2K. I'm trying to get to 100K before the year over. I'm trying. I'm trying to take over the platform. Can y'all help me do that? Can you help me? If you can, just, just do it. Right. <laughs> and until next time, folks. Peace out, man. Super de duper de duper. Wildcard Weekend prediction video.